good morning students in our earlier class we learned about the observations for finding out how to observe a chemical reaction so in this particular video we will be learning about balancing a chemical equation now consider this statement here magnesium burns in oxygen to form magnesium oxide now this is a statement we can reduce the burden by writing a word equation now in a word equation we just represent the words of the reactants and the products now here magnesium is combining with oxygen to form magnesium oxide here magnesium and oxygen are called the reactants and magnesium oxide is called the product the plus symbols is used to separate the reactants and the arrow here indicates the formation of the product now this is also hectic to write a word equation so what we do we represent it in the form of a chemical equation so what is the difference between a word equation and chemical equation in word equation we represent the equation in the form of words whereas we can still reduce it by writing the concerned symbols for example we write mg plus o2 oxygen should be written in its molecular form to form mgo now this is a chemical equation this is a chemical equation but still it is unbalanced why because on the left hand side that is on the lhs we have the number of magnesium to be 1 and the number of oxygen to be 2 whereas on the right hand side we have the number of magnesium to be 1 and the number of oxygen to be 1 So if we compare the number of oxygens, they are unbalanced. So what we need to do to balance it, and why should we balance a particular equation? We need to balance an equation to satisfy the law of conservation of mass. Now, what is this law of conservation of mass? According to this particular law. matter can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction what does it mean that means the number of atoms of all the elements on the left hand side should be equal to the number of elements on the right hand side that means here we have one magnesium one magnesium but two oxygens on the left hand side whereas there is only one oxygen on the right hand side so this does not satisfy the equation so this is called an unbalanced chemical equation so what we do to balance this equation there are simple methods first to draw boxes around the reactants as well as the products so why should we draw boxes because we are not supposed to change anything inside the box now we can write anything on these places so we are not supposed to write anything here so what can be done If we observe the number of oxygens, there are two, but here the number of oxygens are only one. So what we do? We multiply this with two. So here we got two oxygens, but at the same time, the number of magnesiums are also two here. So the number of magnesiums comparatively are not the same. So what we do? We write a two here. So now it becomes a balanced equation. The number of magnesium are two. The number of oxygen are two. So if we write a balanced equation again, we get it as two mg plus O two gives rise to two mgO. So here magnesium is a solid, which is the physical state. Oxygen is in the form of gas, will give rise to a solid. let us take one more example now consider this equation here potassium chloride when heated gives potassium chloride plus oxygen now what are the elements present here we have potassium chlorine and oxygen potassium chlorine and oxygen we have one potassium we have one chlorine and three oxygen on the right hand side we have Number of potassium is one. Chlorine is one. Oxygen is two. So here 
the number of potassiums as well as chlorines are balanced. But whereas the number of oxides are three, and here we have got only two. So how to balance this particular equation? Now here, when we consider the number of oxygens, two cannot be equated to three. So what we do here? We multiply the number of oxygens with three. Why? If we multiply it with three, we get the number of oxygens to be six. Now here, in order to make the number of oxygens six, we need to multiply this with two. Two threes are. Six. So now the oxygens are balanced, but we need to even check the potassium and chlorine. So if we look here, the number of potassiums are two, and number of chlorines are two. So here these change to two each. So how do we make potassium and chlorine as two? Just by writing a two here. This will be changed to two. Chlorine will be changed to two. So, what is the balance of the equation? Two KClO three gives rise to two KCl plus three O two. Let us consider one more example. Example three. C three H eight plus O two gives CO two plus H two. Now, let us see the elements on the left hand side. Carbon three number. Hydrogen H, oxygen two. Here number of carbons are two. Oxygens two plus one that is three. Two oxygens here, one oxygen here that is three. And the number of hydrogens are two. Oxygens are three. So how do we balance this particular equation? So let us first see the number of carbons here. Here there are three carbons. Here we have one carbon. So you write three here. So the number of carbons got balanced. Then we go to the number of hydrogens. Here you have got eight hydrogens. Here you have got two hydrogens. So what you need to do is multiply H two O with four. So four twos are. Eight hydrogens. Now, what you need to do? You need to count the number of oxygens. If we count the number of oxygens, here the number of oxygens are two, here the number of oxygens are three. But if you count, three twos are six plus four. How many? Six plus four oxygens. So it will take what change it to ten oxygens. So all you need to do is. You multiply this by, we get a ten. So now this becomes a balanced equation. So what is the balanced equation? C three H eight plus five O two gives rise to three C O two plus four H two O. This becomes the balanced equation. Now let us see example four. Here. Fe two O three plus Al two Fe plus Al two O three. Now the number of ions are two. Aluminiums are one. Oxygens are three. Here ions are one. Oxygens are three. Aluminiums are two. So first let us try to balance the number of ions. So here there is only one ion. So what we do is just put a two in front of ions. So the number of ions are balanced. Okay. Now let us complete the balancing of aluminium. Here there are two aluminiums, but here you have got only one particular aluminium. So what we need to do is multiply this aluminium by two. We get two aluminiums. The number of oxygens are three, and here the number of oxygens are three. So we can now say that this is the balanced equation. So the balanced equation looks like Fe two O three. Plus two Al gives rise to two Fe plus Al two O three. Now here in the fifth example we have Fe plus H two O gives Fe three O four plus H two O. So here the number of ions are one. Hydrogens two, oxygens one. 
here the number of hydrogens are 2 the number of oxygens are 4 and the number of ions are 3 so first let us try to balance ions in order to balance ion I am writing here let us balance ions so here I have got 3 Fe and here I have got 3 Fe so both are balanced now to balance the number of oxygens what I do here multiply this with 4 so by multiplying it with 4 what I get is 4 oxygens which is balanced but here the number of hydrogens will become 8 so how can I change the number of hydrogens to 8 just by multiplying it with 4 so I will multiply with 4 so this is a balanced equation 3 Fe plus 4 H2O gives rise to Fe3O4 plus 4 h so in this way we can balance equations let us go to one more example which is going to be the last example now in this particular equation we have barium chloride combining with aluminium sulfate to form barium sulfate and aluminium chloride so if you see the formula BaCl2 plus Al2SO4 taken thrice gives rise to BaSO4 plus AlCl3 now here I listed out all the elements barium 1, chlorine 2, aluminium 2, sulfur 3 and the number of oxygens are 4, 3 is 12. Now on the right hand side we have the number of bariums as 1, chlorines 3, aluminium only 1, sulfur you have got 1 and the number of oxygens are 4. So when we have such an equation we need to start with the maximum number of atoms that is oxygens. So on the left hand side I have 12 oxygens. On the right hand side I have got only 4 oxygens. So how can I change 4 into 12 just by multiplying it with 3. So for 3 is a I have got 12 oxygens. But what does it mean? It means there are 3 bariums and 3 sulfurs. So the number of bariums are changed to 3. The number of sulfurs are also changing to 3. Okay. So sulfurs got balanced whereas the number of bariums are to be changed. Okay. So here I am putting a 3. It will give me that there are 3 bariums. But the number of chlorines change again. The number of chlorines have changed to 3 to the 6. So in order to get the number of chlorines balanced, I will write a 2 here. So the number of chlorines are changed to 2 and the number of aluminiums here also have got changed to 2. So now this is a balanced equation. 3 BaCl2 plus Al2SO4 taken thrice gives 3 BaSO4 plus 2 AlCl3. This is a simple way of balancing a particular chemical equation. Now let us see one more example. Here we have solution of barium chloride and sodium sulfate in water react with react to give insoluble barium sulfate and solutions of sodium chloride. So let us write the equation of it. When we got solutions of barium chloride, so it is BaCl2, we write it as aqueous. Now what is aqueous here? Any salt when combined with water is represented as aqueous salt plus sodium sulfate in water, sodium sulfate Na2SO4 in water. So this is also an aqueous solution gives rise to insoluble barium sulfate. So you are having barium sulfate here which is insoluble. So we can represent it as a precipitate along with the formation of sodium chloride which is aqueous once again. Here sodium chloride is aqueous. So generally these symbols indicate the particular kind of solution that we have. Now let us write what we have on the left hand side. We have got barium, we have got chlorine, we have got sodium, we have got sulfur and we have got oxygen. Barium 1, chlorine 2, sodium 2, sulfur 1, oxygen 4. 
on the right hand side we have got how many barium one the number of chlorines are one the number of sodium are one sulfur is one oxygen is four so let us now try to balance this particular equation so if we observe carefully the number of barium are balanced the number of sulfur are balanced the number of oxygen are balanced what we need to do is we need to balance chlorine and sodium so here we have got two chlorines and two sodiums whereas here you have got one chlorine and one sodium so in order to balance this we need to multiply them with two that is we need to change them to two how can we do that just by putting a two in front of an hcl now you can see very clearly that this happens to be a balanced chemical equation so in this way we can balance any particular equation sometimes we need to represent chemical equations by using certain symbols wherein s represents a solid l represents a liquid aq represents any salt added to water and then a down arrow indicates the formation of precipitate so these symbols help us in locating a particular chemical equation whether written properly or not so this completes explanation about balancing a chemical equation after this we will be given a worksheet based on this try to work it out thank you